Coach, what did you see the difference between the first three quarters and that fourth quarter when you gave up 43 points? A lot of threes. Um, I thought we did a pretty good job for uh, most of the night. You know, uh, they missed some open threes in the first uh, bunch of quarters there, but uh, we really had good challenges and got out to them. I thought in the fourth quarter, you know, once they start making some, it's hard to shut the water off when uh, the guys start hitting shots like that and they're making a comeback. And uh, you know, Corver was great in that fourth quarter. We couldn't, we couldn't get them to miss. So I think well, maybe the, one of the only ones they missed was wide open. Uh, so maybe we should have left them open more often. But um, you know, our guys played hard. Uh, you know, it's it's going to be a lesson for us to you know, try to finish these games. Um, and it's not always trying to pull it out in the last three, four minutes of the game. You know, a lot of times the swing of a game comes earlier. Uh, and I thought maybe late in the third quarter, we had a chance to really blow it up and, and uh, you know, maybe go from there. But we relaxed a little bit, had some mental errors at the end of the third quarter, and that, uh, you know, that allowed them to cut it down to 15. So uh, there's certain lessons that we got to learn from that and, uh, um, you know, get better next time. Coach, you went with, uh, with Lance uh, as opposed to Enos down the stretch. What matchup were you looking to neutralize? Well, Corver was scoring, uh, so you know we figured we'd get the defensive team in there, uh, and, and Lance maybe a bigger body, uh, try to keep LeBron out of the lane a little bit more, uh, and then Courtney can guard one of the wing guys too. And um, you know, it's uh, Le LeBron's a, a, a big guy can get in there, and he made uh, you know some great passes. But I thought we got sucked in too much. Um, you know, when LeBron was going, I think everyone was thought, oh, LeBron's gonna score, I gotta get in there and help. Um, but that's really what he wants you to do so he can kick it out to those shooters. So uh, we overcommitted uh, quite a bit in that fourth quarter. Coach, how deflating was it during the fourth quarter when they made those three shots? Pardon me? How, how deflating were those three shots that they made in the fourth quarter? <laughs> well, we lost the game, so it is pretty deflating. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I thought offensively we got a little, uh, uh, you know, relying on KP, and, and he had LeBron on him uh, instead of just continuing to execute the plays. Um, then, you know, we we were able to get out in the open court a little bit more when we were getting stops. You know, they, they were scoring uh, most of the fourth quarter, so we didn't get any, any of those easy buckets either. Jeff, you were talking before the game about you didn't think Frank would be bothered by the LeBron stuff. And so what did you think of when he uh, kind of went chest to chest with him a little bit? Yeah, you know, that's good. A uh, young kid to stand up to, you know, the best player in the league. Uh, so, you know, I was happy for Frank to, to get an opportunity to get out there and play. and. And show them, yeah, you can say whatever you want, but I'm going to still uh, uh, be here and, and be here for many years. And, uh, you know, and then you, he had his teammates backing him up. Uh, so that was great. Jeff, what do you see from Chris Daft tonight, particularly offensively? Well, you know, he had some opportunities. Uh, they played good defense. They, they really uh, uh, were getting up into his legs uh, a little bit more. Um, you know, some of those when he felt maybe they were getting tapped on the elbow when he was shooting. Um, but, you know, we got to figure out ways to, uh, you know, maybe get them the, the ball a little bit more on those guys uh, and then let them go to work. He made a couple of nice moves that were quick. Uh, they were coming to double them a few times. Uh, he made some nice passes out of there. Uh, you know, I thought the, he had that one where he kind of went one-on-one. -on -one, looked like he was going to try to shoot it and threw it back to Courtney Lee. And Courtney hit a three. Uh, I thought that was a big play that I thought was going to kind of catapult us. Once they closed it, we started to build it back up. I thought that was going to do it. But, uh, you know, it's a 48 minute game, and the guy's got to keep playing. We saw that he had the, uh, the sleeve eyes shooting elbow. Was that new, and was that an issue coming into tonight? Um, you know, I don't know. You have to ask him on that. Uh, uh, he practiced with it yesterday. Uh, um, he had a different sleeve on yesterday, th this morning, at shoot around. Uh, so that's something he's going to get used to if he's going to wear it. Coach, talk about Frank's defense. Um, it's nasty about defense. He had six steals, but also he showed a lot of maturity as well. Yeah, and you know that's <laughs> excuse me, that's Frank's strength is uh, his defense, and you know he got his hands on a lot of balls. He was great in that first half. Um, you know we'll look at tape at the fourth quarter of all our guys and see. Uh, uh, you know, I know one time he, he sucked in from a strong corner, uh, which, you know, we, that's not part of our rotations. But, you know, that's something in the heat of a moment when games get tight, when you're playing a great team like Cleveland, uh, that sometimes you, you got to kind of control, uh, you know, where you're going to help. Uh, and that's sometimes hard because it's a natural reaction of, of players to try to help out. Uh, but, you know, that's, again, he'll learn from that. Uh, you know, he's, he's going to learn stuff every game. You know, we had one, uh, um, he came off a pick and roll, and I think they followed KP, 
uh, as the picker, and he didn't shoot it. And we just tell Frank, just shoot that one. It could be an and one. He goes, I didn't know the rule. So, you know, that, that's, what, that's what happens when you're 19. You're going to come across things. And, uh, you know, I, I like his competitiveness. You know, he, he played hard. He, he got in there and right from the start. Wasn't uh, uh, afraid to go up against these guys. That's, that's how he is. Coach, with uh, your young team here, um, blowing a 23-point lead, what do you tell those guys in the locker room, or what do you guys do moving forward to make sure that that doesn't roll into over into the next couple of games? Well, again, you know, you know the guys got to learn from it. Uh, we all have to learn from it, but we can't get panicked by it. Uh, we came back from being down big numbers two games in a row. So this NBA game with threes, you saw they made nine threes in that fourth quarter. Uh, you know, the, the leads can change pretty rapidly sometimes. So. Uh, there's going to be some of those, but, uh, you know, again, it doesn't always happen in the fourth quarter. It might be the second quarter. It might be the third quarter. And those are the lessons we need to lead, uh, learn that. It is 48-minute games. You can almost never, never relax. Coach, what did you see late in the stretch there? They had two offensive rebounds when you, you know, you had a chance to at least tie the game. Yeah, they went after it. Um, you know, I kind of, uh, they're veteran guys on that team. You know, they, they know you, you can get away with certain things late in the game. In terms of little pushes and you know the aggressive, you got to be the, the more aggressive team, uh, and they were in that fourth quarter going for those rebounds, and uh, you know that's that's going back to you know we've got to continually work on boxing out. You know it's something that NBA teams don't do a lot of work on, um, but it's it's something that as a young team we have to do. Um, and you know boxing out isn't just stepping in front of the guy; it's hitting the guy, driving him out, uh, and they were just uh, a little bit bigger. And, I went after a little bit better than we did at the end. Jeff, um, you've been starting Jared, obviously, with Frank from playing a lot of fourth quarter down the stretch. What's going into that decision? Is that about the future? Is that about purely based on matchups? Or curious what you think? Yeah, it's, it's how it's going. Um, you know, Frank, uh, um, we want to give him as many opportunities as possible to grow uh, and, and learn from it. Uh, you know, we still want to try to win the game. And many times Jared's out there, sometimes Frank will be out there. Uh, you know, Frank has finished a couple games for us that we won. So, um, you know, I felt comfortable with leaving them out there with the defensive part of it. Uh, they were scoring quite a bit. So, um, you know, that's, that's how the game goes sometimes. Thank you, Coach.